Are you filtering what's happening now through your assumptions of the future? That's what this episode is about. You're listening to Pure Light, where we explore how you can believe in yourself and be happy with who you are. My name is Eileen. I help people do what they feel called to do. I'm a coach, writer, and yoga and meditation teacher. This is episode 146. In the last episode, I talked about how emotional clutter or old wounds or pain can cloud your perception of what's here and now, because you're processing what's happening in the present moment through the filter of that pain. There's another thing that can cloud your perception of the present moment that I wanted to talk about in this episode. And this is actually a funny story. So a few years ago, I asked God who my husband was. And this was just a few years after I actually started believing in God, which is a whole other story for another time. But I asked before going to bed one evening, and then I went to bed. And the next morning, I woke up with this knowing. Like, I felt like I knew who it was. And it was someone that I hadn't seen in years, probably like 15 to 20 years. And so I was like, hmm, that's really interesting. Let's see what happens. And that person ended up resurfacing in my life a few months after that. We spent a day together, which was amazing. And at one point, I actually remember having the thought, I could marry this man while we were together. And then we ended up spending a few days together uh, a little while later. And those were also amazing. So our chemistry and connection felt like confirmation of that intuitive hit that I got. So it felt like proof or validation that that idea was right. So it really kind of solidified that in my mind. And the next time that I saw him, he asked me to go on a trip with him. It was a big trip to another continent. And I don't actually remember exactly what I said in response to that question. I do remember I was freaking out and like, holy shit, like, oh my God, is this really happening? Because it seemed like things were moving so quickly and in the direction that I thought things were going to go based on that intuitive hit. And um, after he asked me to go traveling with him, he did nothing to communicate with me about it. And a few weeks before he was supposed to go, uh, before he had originally planned the trip, because this was something he had in mind before he asked me to join him, I, I said to him, hey, what's up with that? Like, is that still happening? And he was like, oh, I just assumed that I was going on my own because we never talked about it. Um, and that was true, even though there were plenty of opportunities for both of us to bring it up. I think I didn't because he was stressed out because of work stuff and it just seemed better not to for some reason. So anyway, he ended up going on that trip on his own, even though he had invited me to join him. And that really didn't feel good. It felt crushing and really disappointing because I was like, how could my future husband do this to me? (laughs) Because I had what seemed like evidence or confirmation of the fact that things were going to go in that direction for this relationship based on that initial time that we spent together because it felt like bliss. So after those two initial experiences when we reconnected, there were others where things didn't quite feel so aligned because he didn't follow through on something or he didn't communicate in a way that was really conducive to me being happy with the way that things were going. And I could rationalize why he was doing those things because he was busy or he was stressed out or whatever it was, which basically meant that I was ignoring the impact it had on me. I was discounting my feelings and not paying attention to them and rationalizing why things were the way that they were because of the circumstances that he was in. And all of that was because I was holding on to the idea that we were going to be together. So whenever you have a belief about something or an idea in your head, you filter your reality through that lens because that becomes the thing that you look for confirmation of. You see evidence that supports that belief and you talk yourself out of evidence that doesn't. Even when that evidence is internal, when it's your feelings or emotions, your emotions are never wrong. It's super important to pay attention not only to how you feel, but the things that you're telling yourself to rationalize, um, to rationalize what's happening that doesn't feel right. Eckhart Tolle said, every fragment of self-talk is a little story in the head that goes around, and then you look at reality through the lens of that little story. That's why it is so important to be aware of the things that you're telling yourself. Any assumption you have about the future may be clouding your present and your ability to see fully and accept fully 
what's here and now. If you can let go of any ideas you have about the future, you can be more present now and more likely to catch those little red flags when they show up so that you can make better decisions and trust that internal evidence so that you can guide yourself to the place where you really ultimately need to be. If you enjoyed this, leave a review wherever you listen to podcasts or share it with someone who needs to hear it. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, may you be guided by your light.